Hey, I'm Tori Pudwell, and we're gonna check out my hallelujah part and reminisce on some good times, some bad times, and just everything that kind of went down during the time we filmed the part. Every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling. It's the intro. Every day I'm hustling. Celebration. After you get a clip, celebrating the back tail front shove. I think we were in Denver. Had a couple beers on the sesh, you know, so I was feeling pretty good after I landed it. This is the first time I did that trick on a rail. I think a lot of uh, a lot of tricks are like first time. That trick was just super random. Wasn't even trying to film a trick, and it made the intro clip, which was cool because I don't do any manuals. John Holland had sort of the full control on the video part. It actually it wasn't my first song choice, but just like the vibe wasn't right, so John picked this song, and it was awesome. It's, it's the morning benders. I met one of the dudes in the band and uh, he, he told me he was like really stoked that we used the song and then we kind of been homies ever since. Trippy shot, weird haircut. Yeah, that's when Go, GoPros were brand new. So like we were just tossing that thing around. That clip, I don't even know how I caught that thing and it was just perfectly. But I like the gloves I had. Dude, I don't, know who, I don't know who wrote that. I don't know, that's a mystery to me. Blunt side kickflip. Long heel back nose blunt. Never done that trick since. This backside 360 kickflip was in Australia. Had a fight for that one. In the middle of this part is when I transitioned from almost the plan B. And that was kind of like a, kind of like a big deal for me, especially like in the middle of a video part. So half the footy, I got almost boards. Other half, I got plan B boards. Some of these tricks too, like, let me a sugar cane, back lip to sugar cane. But I didn't even know if they were good, you know? Sometimes I'd just be like, dude, I don't know what to do here. So I think that was one John helped me with. I think a lot of these photos and sequences were in my interview too. It's like this cab back tail backside flip. Maybe it was an almost set, I don't know. Back tail inward heel. That's textbook stomped right there. That's a rare, rare sighting. Dolly tray flip down a gap. It's a valley spot. Let's get a lot of local valley spots. It's another one in the valley, right down the street from here. I was on a trip to Copenhagen. Pretty sick, that's just like, a, just a straight like skate spot of flat bars. I recently went back to that spot this year just to like, you know, create some lineage. Yeah, it's like got a bank there now and like kind of like a little mani pad. So they added like some skate features to that like little flat bar plaza. But back then it didn't have none of that. I looked into it cause I was like, oh man, what? What angle did I get for this trick? You know, did I have to swerve around this thing that's here? And it's like, that thing wasn't even there. So I went back, I, I got another clip there. I like to revisit spots that I've skated in past parts. Alley-oop front shove. Hitting some transition right there. I, I want to say that was the first trick I filmed for the video part was that front side flip. And that was like the first time that me and John ever went out skating. I remember I was filming something else. I was double dipping that day with Colin Kennedy. He brought us there. I was filming my first hand, Fuel TV first hand. So I skated that spot for the first hand. I did a kick flip over it. So then I got the front side flip for the trans rail part. This trick, that's Louisville 10 flat. One of the best spots ever. And you cannot skate there. Like it's impossible to skate there. People try, but you just, you get kicked out. It's an all girls private school. And then they have like the houses right there where all the students live. You gotta get past the security guard booth. He's always there. So we went there at 2 a.m. and the security guard was asleep. So we took that moment to hop the fence, throw the generator and lights over the fence, and we got a good like hour at the at the spot. The 10 flat's still there, it's still skatable. I went there on Christmas, got kicked out within five minutes. So we got lucky that night. I filmed three tricks. That back three and Nolly flipped it, and hard flipped it. I think I was like, kind of like, you know, really getting into combo tricks during the time of filming this part. 
I not only double flipped the tents there, which is super random. I, I never did double flips, never double flipped anything except this spot. It was in the Philippines on this crazy trip where we had like our own cops and stuff. We would get kicked out of spots and our cop would tell the other cops that it was all good and, and then we would just skate these spots. That kickflip back tail. Another one we were out filming for that first hand. Dude, that might have been the same day as the front side flip, actually. I used to actually go all day when I skated from spot to spot just getting clips. You'll always see me return to Skittles ledges, try to get a clip. I don't know how the hell I pulled out of a kickflip front crook fakey on that thing though. Like nowadays, I, I don't feel like that would be a, a trick of choice at that spot. I definitely had a slam or two where I hit my back on the inside of the, the block. Sacramento triple, back when I had lasers on lock. Dude, it's, it's like all these spots, all these spots in this part, I like went to like all my favorite spots. Like to this day, I enjoy skating these same spots. Dude, another one of my favorite spots, dude, the Vernon Bar, backsmith, kickflip, made it all the way into the curb cut. This was uh, one of my first pro shoe ads, backlip, kickflip to backlip on the curve ledge. I had three ads for my first pro shoe, back to back to back, so that was one of them. Nollie flip into the, the gap, into the bank. Dude, that spot is just so scary to skate because there's no runway for it. Sierra Fellers actually did the same trick. I think we did it around the same time. I don't know whose came out first though. Oh yeah, I forgot. Backside three on the, what I call the Van Owen bump, which back in the day they called the Liu Kang Gap. Griffith Park, bank to cinder block. Dude, I go there just to like hang out. Yeah, that's another one, you know? Like I filmed, you know, good like five to seven clips at that same spot. That's one of my favorite clips in the video right there. That was my first cover, was the backside wall ride, backside flip out in Australia. It was the cover of the nine frames issue, which CU shot the photo. And uh, yeah, that was on our trip to Australia with almost, we we're supposed to be there for two weeks. And then we ended up staying for way longer. I was there for three months, staying at uh, Lewis Marnell's. You know, that was like one of the most memorable trips of my life. I was 17 too, it was like I had to come home because my passport was about to expire. This was the second cover I had, the back 50 on the tall curve ledge in Denver. The try that I did it, the cops were rolling up. I seen the, the, the red and blues pulling up and I was like, it was kind of scary because it was so tall, you know? You had to like really stand up on that thing. The, the cops, they didn't even pull in or anything. They just kept <laughs> they just kept driving. It was like in my head, it was like, we're getting kicked out next try. But like the aftermath was like, where'd those cops go? Like where the cops at? Close, close call, but it was also a false alarm. Cammy shot the photo, dude. I'd say this is damn near like some of the best years of my skating that, you know, when I was on the come up, flying off this ledge like with a helicopter flip. That flat bar was like, at the time, that was like one of the longest things ever. It's a car dealership. There's always cars parked on the pads. The cars were gone. Like, dude, let's go to this spot. That back Smith would have been way easier, but since I was going in that direction, it was uphill. So that's why I'm kind of like trying to really push my way through it and got really slow at the end because I'm grinding uphill with shorter runway. Kickflip over the rail into the bank was the cover of the video. Man, I forgot, we're, we're with John Holland and Chris Ray on this trip. I can't remember if it was Chris or John, but they were filming it straight on, same angle as the photo, and they like didn't film it. So there's only this one angle in the video. It was either that or I did it fast where they didn't have enough time to set up. That's the trick from the intro right there. A lot of these combo tricks were just like me experimenting with just what I could do, you know, and back smooth, kick foot back tail to end it was definitely like, like that was, that was something different. I remember doing the laser flip and then it was like, should we light it up? I wanna try backside 360 kick. I just wanted to go for it. So I was just like ruthlessly trying to get gnarly. Dude, when I rolled away from that, I was just so happy because it was like so cold. My eyes were watering. I couldn't see anything. I had my beanie in my face and I landed it and rode away, I was just like, oh my God, like, no way, dude. Right. Carved in the opposite way that I probably even should have. I could have I, I gone from the other side, oh, but yeah. since I've skated this triple set, 
multiple times, I like always have to repeat the same thing I did prior. I'm definitely really proud of, you know, everything that, that came out of filming this part. It was like when I got the phone call to film for a trans girl part, I was seriously, it was the biggest honor to me. Trans girl videos just being like the top of the tier. You know what I mean? Yeah, dude, every time I watch the video, I get to like kind of relive all these memories we just talked about. It's not just another part, it's in the top three of my favorite parts that I've filmed.